Hi guys, this is Constance again with um, Compose the Rabbit Hole, and um, I've been playing with this cartridge a lot tonight, actually, since I just got it in. I'll show the other three that I got in yesterday in the next videos, but I just thought I would go ahead and learn everything I pretty much could about this cartridge. Um, this is the JT cartridge for the Imagine, and um, I'm going to show you another layout I did tonight. It's God-given talent, and a little guitar and stuff like that. I'll show you how I did that. Or explain to you how I did it. Uh, this little epic right here, let me zoom in on it, uh, came from page 22 in the layout book and it originally looked, um, the inside was black, it was not zebra print, and then the big huge arrow down the center I think came from page 10 and I changed the colors on that um, as well. I like, and I flipped it. It, it actually goes the other way but I flipped it around um, for purpose needs because I needed to fill up space. And then the corner um, sconce scroll things are from um, the JT as well. Um, and that one right there I think is the regular one. And the one that I have on this corner is flipped vertically and horizontally. And then the guitar, I changed the colors on that too. And I think um, the sconces scroll things are on page 15, 15 and the guitar is on page 9. And the background I printed off from the JT cartridge, but the um, actual, this is black zebra print as well as the letters. Um, the letters are from the black letter cartridge. And the black zebra print and the um, this funky spongy orange color that I thought matched in the corners. I see it's got a little bit of orange that has on this paper that I printed out. Um, it's actually from a paper studio. Um, box paper. I'm trying to find it for you right now. It's actually from the... Well, that wasn't too good. Anyway, it's from the Paper Studio Safari Pack. It's not the Safari Chic. The Safari Chic stack is from Paper Studio as well. And it doesn't have there in there. It is from the Safari stack. Um, I think it's like the 10th or 12th one in there. And this is closer to the back. Um, so yeah, this is zebra print. Um, but I just wanted to show you another layout that you could do with it. It's got a lot of different options. And I love how you you can change um, pretty much everything about most of it. Um, most of the pieces you can change. Like some of the sconce scroll things, you could change the border around it, but the colors on the inside had to stay the same. And like this, if you changed the um, circle here, it would also change the colors of all these black, and they'd be all the same color. So there are certain things you can't change and certain things you can. Hopefully, one of these days, it won't be like that. But um, as of right now, that's that's how it works. It um, It's kind of limited about what you can do, but it does give you a lot of different options. So I just wanted to show you a couple of more things that you could um, do with it. All right. Thanks, guys.